everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a closer look at Lelouch's new figure by Gem. It is for Lelouch of the Resurrection, the new movie that came out. Um, this is, this is what he looks like. I am posing him with his helmet on because I have his other figure in his zero outfit with his helmet off. So I'm going to keep him posed like this. It, please ignore any noises you hear in the background. Um, there's people home and they can be fairly loud. Also, ignore the shitty camera quality. Again, I am filming this with my iPad, which is very unfortunate. He turned out really nice. I literally have no complaints. He's shiny. His, health, his outfit looks great. His helmet looks awesome. I love the purple. It is super shimmery on his head. The paint job is really nice. I'm sure there's some little spots that could use work, but I haven't really noticed anything too much. But I also haven't stared at him a ton yet, so there is that. The way his cape is posed and sculpted is a lot different than his last one. The last one was more down and like around, and this one is more out and up. And like to the sides, as you can see. Shading's really nice though. The way they did the collar is really awesome. Again, the helmet looks really cool. His base looks like this. If you want to see how he was packaged and what his box looks like and all of that, I will put that in the description below. I have the video of the unboxing that I filmed, so you can go watch that if you're interested. He has this little gem thing which if you remember from his other outfit um kind of matches the more like emperor outfit that he has i want to say like he is so pretty just the little details if you can see even like the cloth underneath the sleeve here his hands look good the sculpt looks good this thing refuses to focus. <laughs> Give me a quick moment and I will show you guys his other head pieces. Here is his standard head. Um, again, I don't have him posed with it, clearly. Because I already have his other figure posed with his face and I kind of wanted to see the helmet on this time. The shading on his hair is quite nice though. I like the highlights on the top and his eyes are nice and clear. He's got a nice little smirk going on. Sharp eyebrows. Here we have his more angry yelling face, but this time he has one eyelid up, showing his gios. He's working. So he's demanding or commanding someone. Again, the shading on his hair is very nice. Very similar to the other one with the highlights on top. And again, his eyes look very clear. And here is his last head. Again, his yelling angry face. But both eyes are lit up this time. They look very sharp and he looks like he's ready to fucking kill somebody. Again, the highlights are good. I really don't have much to complain about him at all, except the packaging, where there was like, for some reason, some of the packaging was super oily. Look how shiny his eyes are. And again, if you're interested in seeing that, and if you have any comments about that, please let me know, because I'm very confused slash concerned what's going on with the packaging. But yeah, a bunch of the packaging was just super oily, and I was really worried about it getting all over the figure. And some of it did, so I had to wipe that off and try to clean him properly. If you want to see that or hear me talk about that, that'll be in the unboxing, which I will link in the description below. Here he is in all of his glory. I'm really happy with him. I still find it funny how his, like, boots are not really, like, separate boots. Like, it's just a full part of his pants. It's just one whole suit. I think Lou should be really fun to cosplay because you wouldn't have to do makeup or anything. You could literally just wear the helmet if you want to be zero. If you wanted to do Lelouch, though, that'd be a little more difficult. 
So I do change my mind about one thing. I do have one complaint here. If you can see this mark on his cape, actually there's a few marks. They look like a kind of shiny droplet has been added to the paint. I don't know if that's a mistake. I tried to scrape this one off, but it's not coming off. You can kind of see that there. I'm still going to try to get them off after, but I'm not sure what these are from. Um... So that does kind of bother me there. So hard to film with this giant thing. It's so freaking heavy. But yeah, so I guess that is my big complaint was that spot on his cape, which isn't a super big deal, but it's still kind of irritating. Um, although I think they did a better job with his cape this time than the last figure. Because uh, the last figure, the back of the cape is very heavy, same thing with this one, but when you have it set on him, the old cape flips up further, so this part ends up higher up against his chin, where this one sits a little better. Like, it does still pull up, as you can see, like it should be sitting like that, but it's not nearly as bad as the other one, where it's noticeably flipped back. Uh, I still enjoy the figure, the last figure a lot. Um, definitely prefer this one. I think the sculpt and the pose is quite a bit nicer. And I really like the way the cape looks, and I think his faces look better for this one as well. One more quick thing before I end this video. I wanted to add a side-by-side -side comparison of the old Gem Zero figure. Um, although he's not the old, old original one, he has the re-release they did a few years back. That's this one here. You can see how his helmet looks and his outfit looks. I'll also link his closer look and unboxing in the description below for you guys to check out. And here is the current one. As you can see, the outfit has been updated since for the new movie. It's got the little gem thing, and then the front of his outfit looks different here. As well as the cape looks a bit different. You can see that the current one, or the newer one, is a little bit taller than the old one. Huge fan of the new one. I think it looks fantastic. But yeah, if you guys are interested in him check his figure unboxing that I did. You can see the helmet difference and you can see his old gloves. Give me a moment. They're just more of a flat color and the new current gloves have a shimmer to them. They almost have like a purpley shimmer. It's kind of hard to see with this lighting but it has like a tad purple metallic shimmer and his new helmet in my opinion looks a lot cooler compared to the older one and that's the cape difference as well the old cape is a lot larger the new cape is shorter but like more spread out wide where this is further down higher collar shorter collar And of course, this one came with a sword and has the capes that I mentioned. That falls back quite a bit. Yeah, so I just wanted to do this side-by-side -side comparison and throw that in there. But that is pretty much it for this one. If there's anything I missed showing you guys, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave that in the comments. And I will link his unboxing in the description below, as I said, along with all of my social media and my affiliate links to your CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. I get a small commission if you purchase anything through those links. So thank you so much to those of you who've done it before. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys keep watching my videos and keep commenting. Hopefully I'll catch up to the comments at some point. But thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!